Hi guys, Tana here. I'm just here with another video to show you of. Um, this one is going to be my audition experience for um, Lambda, which is a London Academy of Dramatic Art in England. And um, once again, uh, I know I said this in another earlier video and such, but I found these videos so helpful, people listing their audition experiences, and I thought, you know, hey, maybe you could use another American or international student explaining the audition process and what they went through, because I know that they're a bit different than what the kids go through um, who live in England and can just go to the school and stuff. Uh, so anyway, without further ado, here's my audition experience. Uh, so Lambda is the one, I think the one and only school that will actually come to Seattle, which is fantastic because that's where I live. So luckily I didn't have to travel anywhere. I didn't have to, um, you know, I got to shower in my own shower. I got to sleep in my own bed. And that was a huge blessing and stuff as opposed to... Um, the other auditions and flying down to, uh, you don't have to fly down to LA or New York or Chicago or something to go to. And so um, the audition was at 2 p.m. for me. Um, I received an email, um, I think, so, yeah, in advance and stuff, just letting me know. And um, I had been at the building before because I had had an acting class there, actually, the Seattle Center. Um, even though it was on a different floor. So I arrive at 1, between like 1.30 and 1.45, right? Get there early, you know? Um, always a great thing to do. And there was no one there. Like, no one on the entire floor. And that worried me a bit, and I double-checked the room. I'm like, no, this is definitely the room and stuff. And so I, I thought, well, you know, um, if I see nobody at 1.50 or 1.55... I'm just going to email them, because they said if you're late, email them at this address or something. So I, I thought, okay, you know, and I was doing my breathing exercises, running through my monologues with my head, you know, making all the funny faces and stuff, but it's like, no, I'm not crazy, I'm acting, you know. And, um, and then this man gets off the elevator, he's in his, I don't know his age, um, and he walks by and he said, oh, are you Hannah? And I, I say, yes, yes, and the two o'clock audition stuff, he says, wonderful, just a moment, please. And, and then he walks into the room, and he's with his briefcase, and he's setting up stuff, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm in the right place, because um, he has a British accent, otherwise I, I don't know anything and stuff. And so he goes in, and um, he shuts the door, right, and then another girl comes, and turns out she's the 220 or 215 slot, so they give you about 15 or 20 minutes each. And so I go in, uh, or I'm sorry, she c comes in and stuff, and we recognize each other because we had both auditioned for Central, um, which was wonderful, and stuff, and um, she lives in the Seattle area too and stuff, and so it's great kind of breaking the tension by talking with someone there. Um, so after that, around 2 o'clock, he calls me in. I'm like, okay, and stuff, and I go in, and... Um, he says, pull up a chair and stuff, and I pull it up. He's like, no, closer, closer. And I'm like, okay, you know, because I, I thought, like, you know, British people like their space or something. Maybe that's just a stereotype. Um, and so I, um, he's like, so, you went to Shoreline Community College. I'm like, yes, yes, I got my AA degree. And I explained why in the theater department there and stuff. And I think this was, like, the interview process. And he says, so... Going to London is very, very expensive, like, overall, even though the tuition's, like, 20, 22,000 a year, which is pretty good. Um, it's about 150,000 for a BA course with living expenses and tuition and everything combined. How are you going to get the money and, and stuff? And so, um, I won't tell you the answer here and stuff, but, um, you know, essentially I went through my plan and, and such of, um, how to pay for school and such, and he said, very good, you know, and such, and, and then I think after that he asked our, uh, what the pieces were I'd be doing, and he wrote down the titles and stuff, and, um, and then he said, um, uh, do you have any questions, and I, I asked a few, and one was about, like, how far can we pay to, in advance, because, the dollar to pound exchange rate is incredibly awesome right now, and it's probably not going to stay that way. So the sooner I can 
if I get in, if one gets in and is an American, the sooner they can pay, the better and cheaper it'll be and such. And that doesn't really affect them. I mean, it's not like they're getting less money and such. It's more just kind of playing the market. And so, um, so I asked him about that and he said, I don't know. You have to ask the financial advisor. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, and such. And, and then I said, the other question was if one gets in, and I've been asking this of every school, and I've normally had good responses. But here's where I felt like if anything in the audition went wrong, this was it. I asked, um, so going to a school, giving this amount of money and time and effort and work to go there, I want to be sure that I'm learning from very qualified teachers which I love, you know, reading their biography and or whatever you call it, you know, online, their little blip of what they've done and who they are and what, you know, they're doing their free time and all that stuff. But it would be very nice to talk to the teachers who are, who I would be working with and such to see that we're a good fit because not every student teacher is a good fit. And college is also a place where you develop mentors. And so I... I asked him that, and he's like, well, we bring in all sorts of people, you know, I'm not sure, you know, how that would be and stuff, you know, we if we want to do clowning, then we'll bring in a professional clowning, but if we want to do, you know, Alexander technique, we bring in that, you know, person and stuff, and um, it seems like Lambda is a little different in that they have... A huge faculty like all of them are part-time and they just all come in here and there and such and, and I asked what about mentors and this was the part where I couldn't tell he was incredibly hard to read I'm not sure if it's a British thing or if it's like an auditioner thing but um, he he's like well the mentor I asked him well what about mentoring and such isn't college a place where you develop all these kind of mentorships? And he's like, well, the mentorship is done by the alumni and stuff. And maybe I'm exaggerating, like with my facial expressions and stuff, but I kind of had the voice in the back of the mind, in my mind was thinking, am I stupid? Like, is he thinking I'm stupid? And yeah, and then I was like, oh, okay, you know, stuff, and I just <laughs> kind of wanted to shut the conversation down, because I felt like it kept looking like I wasn't, um, I hadn't researched them, which I had, and such, or, and I hadn't asked around about them and such, and, and, um, so anyway, you know, uh, that's how the interview section went. I felt it could have gone better, but at the same time, I think I'm overthinking it, because it could always be worse, you know, and I don't know what he was thinking. I honestly don't. So anyway, I do my audition. I do my classical monologue and my contemporary monologue. He said, very good. Um, and I said, what other Shakespearean monologue do you have? And I said, well, I don't have a Shakespearean monologue. I have a Jacobean monologue, though. And and so I did uh, Beatrice from the Changeling by Thomas Middleton and, and such. And um, and then he said, thank you and, and such and um, said, well... Uh, I go to New York and LA and all these other places, so you probably won't hear back from us until mid-March. So, um, I don't believe there's any sort of recall for international students. It's just, it's the same thing with Essex. It's just, you're in, you're out, good luck. That's your one 20-minute slot. Let's hope you made an, a right impression and that they'll pick you. But at the same time, you know, just go in there and have fun performing. Yes, I felt like this wasn't my best audition yet because of, of course, the interview process. But, you know, that's okay. That's okay. And I'm telling myself that. And now I'm looking forward to RADA, which is up next in just a few weeks. So um, I'll keep you posted on that um, when I go down to L.A. in... March 6th or 7th. Yeah. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Any questions or comments, feel free to just leave them below, and I'll try to respond to them when I can.